The preliminary hearing for a man charged with murder 44 years ago took place in Weatherly today. WBRE 28 WYOU 22 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers shows us how emotions ran high as both families showed up at court. A full day of court arguments for a pregnant teenage girl who has been buried right here in Weatherly for decades. I'm really hurt. It's a family brother. You remember me? This was the first time Evelyn Cologne's family was able to see her alleged killer since 1976. And when I saw him come in there, it just, I'm just angry and hurt at the same time for what he did to my sister. Her family is seeking justice as they now begin to have answers to decades old questions. Beth Doe and her full term baby were found dismembered in three suitcases under the I 80 bridge in Eastside Borough in December of 1976. She was identified as Evelyn Cologne a month ago, and Luis Sierra was arrested for her murder. He was her former boyfriend and the father of her unborn child. For him not to turn around and look at me, Downey taught me one thing. Think about it. Put the piece together. He, he knows he's guilty, but he's not going to say it. The judge declined the defense's motion to dismiss the case and refused to change Sierra's bail. It, 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 it was just today for the Cologne family, knowing that he thought he was going to get away with it, at least today. But we are very happy that this happened. Now we got to wait for the next step and, you know, see what happens next. Following the hearing, Evelyn's family visited her grave to remember two lives taken too soon. I reached out to Sierra's family, but they declined to comment. You can find all of our previous coverage on this cold case at PAHomepage.com. In Weatherly, Nicole Rogers, 2822 Eyewitness News.